Welcome to this week's edition of Pastor Kumuyi's Story. As you are watching, you will be blessed in Jesus' name. Need. I have a need to have this and to have that. But you know what the Lord has called you for? In this country and in this life, the Lord has called me that I will preach the sanctification and the holiness. And anybody, no matter how useful you are, no matter how profitable you are and no matter if you have the minds of all the people in the church and you can drive them and you can motivate them and you have all the people behind you if you go against either in a social way or in a direct way against the word of holiness and sanctification we part because that's my very vision that's my very life that's my very calling all the other doctrines are standing because of sanctification because of holiness and when you touch it you touch the whole ministry kill me then what am i living for if you touch the holiness and you take the holiness away and then you influence people not to accept the holiness what am i living for and then you say you are a friend and then you say you're a worker. And then you say you're a financier. And then you say, Pastor, I'm giving you this. I'm giving, keep it to yourself. Who wants your car? Who wants your money? Who wants everything you've got? When you destroy my very heart, the heart of the Christian faith is holiness and sanctification. When you pinch the heart of the man, when you put your dagger on the heart of the man, when you kill that man, you take his heart away. After you destroy his heart, then you give him a car. How is he going to drive the car with no heart? You've taken his life away. You've destroyed him. And now you give him a car. What am I going to use that for? All your talent and all the gifts you have, all your smiling and all the ability, all the skill you have, all the running around, what's he going to be useful for when there's no salvation, there's no holiness? And then we confuse the people and they're not ready to get to heaven. Give me holiness and take the rest of the things away. Do I need salary? Do I need money? Do I need car? Do I need house? Do I need children? Ask my wife. If it were not because, you know, she prayed and she said, we must have children. Do I need children? Do I need money? Do I need anything? Is it only holiness? Is it, it only holiness I need? And if you take the holiness away in a subtle way, and then you are eroding into it, and you are destroying it, and then we don't have any mouth again to talk about holiness, what are you doing? You pack your load and go. I don't need you with any of the gifts you have. Give me holiness and take the rest away. Holiness. That the very center, the disciplined leader, doesn't worry. Doesn't worry. I believe you have been blessed from this story. Please. Share to bless others and watch out same time next week for another edition. You are blessed in Jesus' name.